Welcome, Pre-Calculus! Today we're going to be learning about standard deviation and variability. And so if we wouldn't mind, this is chapter 9.2 in the Pre-Calculus book. Let's go ahead and follow along. I apologize for my hair. I have a lot of hair because of the corona. It's, you know, a lot. I haven't been able to get a haircut. Here we go, starting in chapter 9. Point, oh, this is 9.2. 9.2. Um, if you notice that there's three columns here, I have my A column, my B column, my C column, of which they all have a mean or an X bar, as we learned about it, the average of a six. So we have a six here, a six here, and six. Ooh, that's six, six, six. Somebody out there, please pray for us. This is a bad lesson. Here we go. So the average is six, but I'm looking at how far away the data is from the average. Like, for example, seven is only one unit away from the six. Eight's two units away from the six. Like over here, 10 happens to be four units away from the six, right? And so it makes a difference um, how far the numbers are away from the mean. And so what we're gonna try to figure out right now is the standard deviation, which is like the average distance away from the average. Here we go. So all of the data averages the same at X bar, at, at the average being uh, the mean is six. But what I wanna look at is the difference between the data and the mean. So that's what this is. X sub I is the individual number, like eight or seven or six or five or four, and then X bar is the, the actual mean. So let's go ahead and turn the page. Turn the page. When we turn the page, the first thing I'm gonna say here is to say that the, if we wanna square all of those deviations, if we wanna square the differences here, the difference right there sometimes can be negative. So look at this. If I look at the number eight, we're just looking at, at uh, the, the set of A, all the numbers from A. And if I look at eight, that's two away from the mean of six. And seven is one away from the mean of six. Six is at the mean. But down here, I get negative. Five is one less than the mean, so I get a negative two. And four is two less than the mean, and I get a negative two. I don't like negatives, right? We're talking distance. I need like positives. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to square those. So right here, I squared those differences. And when I square them, they'll all be positive now. We'll deal with having to kind of unsquare them later. But I'm going to take the squares of those, and I'm going to add them all up. The sum, the sum of them all, add them all up. That's the... the uh, this, the big sum that we learned a lesson or two ago, if I add them all up, add these all up, the, the 4 plus the 1 plus the 0 plus the 1 plus the 4, if I add them all up right there, this is known as the sum of the squares. It's abbreviated as SS. Okay, so we're going to try to find the SS, right, because we got to keep things squared, keep it positive, we got to find the sum of it all, and so we do that. Here we go. By the way, did you know? Did you know that there's over seven hundred thousand words in the Bible? Bet you didn't know that one. All right, let's keep it going. If I take the difference, here's the difference. I squared it, so that's the sum of the squares here. I'm adding it all together, sum of the squares, and I divide it by one less than the amount of numbers that we had. So we go back to the beginning here, and we say, look at this. I have, you know, one, two, three, four, five numbers here, right? If I, if, I, if I divide it by one less than that, then what I'm going to get is what's called a sample variance, right? The sample variance is to say, add up your sum of your squares um, and then divide by one less than that number um, of the number of terms that you had there. And we're going to call that S squared. That's going to be your sample variance, right? Let's turn the page. If you take your sample variance and you take the square root of it. Remember we squared everything, we made everything twice as big. We got to keep things positive. If we unsquare it, or we take the square root, this is the beautiful standard deviation. Look at this, oh, that is gorgeous. Take a look at that. That is some beautiful math. It's elegant, just pure. And what we have is the square root of the sum of those differences. Uh-oh. I probably should have squared them. I missed it. Squared divided by n minus 1. That's going to be the, the amount that we um, have one less than the number of terms. And so if we do that, that's called a standard deviation. And did you know, did you know that wombats, wombats poop squares? Now, you didn't know that. We're talking about squares right now, but they poop literal squares. Yeah, didn't know that. 
So let's go back to the standard deviation. The standard deviation is the average distance away from the average. Remember, the average is x bar. I want to know the average distance away from the average. So what I'm going to do is if I added it all up, the variance here, um, back in my sum of my squares would have been 10, right? We added up. That's back here. That's back here. Oh, where is it? I have to show it to you. I got to do that, right? Right? When I added it all together, I got 10. My sum of my squares is 10. Can you see? Sorry. Can you see that? Sum of the squares is 10. Okay? So if I have the 10 and I divide it by one less from the terms, I had five terms, I would divide by four, then I end up getting 2.5. And I take the square root of that. That is 1.58. That is the standard deviation. It's the average distance away from the average, which is absolutely beautiful. So let's go ahead and try example number one. We're going to try this with some, with some um, data. So right here. We're, we're given step number one. I'm going to order it all from least to greatest just because it's the right thing to do. Everybody's wanting to do that. By the way, I just don't feel quite right here. I need to have me a cowboy hat on because it's getting cold out here in the wilderness. So if I take my step number one and I order them all least to greatest. This is in your book on page 455. You guys can follow along with me. And I, I add them all up and I divide by how many numbers there are. That's the average. That x bar, I get 37.25. That's the average. Okay, the mean. If the mean is 37.25, which would be like right around here, the question is how far away is the data from that mean? Like 37 and 40 are fairly close, but 23, it's way out there. 51, oh, come on, get a little closer in, right? They're too far. We got to say how far out is the distance from there? How far is each of the data numbers from that 37.25? That's the standard deviation that we're looking for. So how far is 23? Well, if we subtract 23 and 37.5, sorry here, 23, take away the, the mean, you're going to get, that's the difference, right? The difference. Um, and when you do that, you're going to end up getting negative 14.25. You see, it's, it's negative, right? When you subtract 23 and, and 37, you get the negative 14. I don't want a negative, so I should square it. When I square it, I get positive 203, right? I do the same thing for the next number, 29. I take 29. I subtract it from the mean with 37.25. I get a negative 8.25. I don't want a negative. So I square it. When I square it, I get my 68.06. I'm taking all of those differences that are squared, and I'm going to add them all up. I'm going to get the sum, the addition, of all of my differences. I do that for all of those numbers, all those numbers. And when I do that, I add up those sum of the squares. I get 525.5. That's the sum of the squares, SS. Go ahead and turn. Did you know, did you know that the average person, when they, um, the whole lifetime, that they collect 25,000 quarts worth of saliva in their mouth, which is like two full pools. Like in a whole lifetime, you could fill up two pools worth of spittle. Okay, keep on going. We know that our, our, um, our sum of our squares is 525. And so the variance, that's the variance, is if you divide that by one less than the amount of numbers, which is 7, right, because we had 8, divide by 7, then that's the variance, 75.07, that's the variance. But remember, I've made things twice as big, basically, because I squared it all. i got to go backwards now and unsquared. i got to square root it. So if I take the square root of that variance, I get 8.66. That's the data that says I am that much on average away from the um, average. So therefore, the average distance away from the average is 8.66. Oh, this is beautiful. Are you guys having fun? Oh, I guess that's it. So what I'll do here is I'm going to sing you guys out of here with a nice little song that I created here during our lockdown. It's called A Minor. A Minor. A Minor.